Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon grade 2 welcome to your social studies class in today's class we will be ending the topic that we started on Monday and then we will quickly wrap up our lecture with the exercise of this topic okay so tell me what was this topic about or what you what new things you have learned in this yes well your mothers this is this is a normal practice that your parents they keep on uh, telling you what you should do and what you should not right they keep on telling you let's say when you are outside they say please don't do this no this is not good for you when you are even in your home please don't do this you will break something you will harm yourself so these are something which are normal right and we we learn normal things from our parents because um basically our home is our first school system right is the first learning system for us so but still we have learned a lot about how we can keep ourselves uh, safe from different types of harms how we can keep ourselves safe from different types of dangers and what which are these steps that we should follow to keep ourselves safe right or how we should be careful so the topic was being careful right the unit is health and safety and in that the topic was being careful now there were there's a huge list a great list of things that we should do and we should not do so let's start with the reading of chapter again so that it would be easy for you to solve the exercise of it okay so i want all of you to please open your book page number 53 this is page number 53 please open it Unit number four, health and safety. Okay, let's start reading. Uh, then says you should take care to avoid accidents. Then there is this picture of the road. See, the children, they are playing on the road basically, right? And a vehicle is coming or and if they, it, would be, it would be coming in a great speed, it can hit them, right? And they can come across any type of accident. So playing by the road is dangerous and you may meet with an accident. So it's not safe to play with close to the road right okay especially where there is heavy traffic then the next it says never touch bare electric wires or electric sockets an electric shock can kill you well the second it says that never touch bare electric wires now bare electric wires are the wires on which we have um usually uh, there are electric sockets which are very common um let me show you the socket one which i have closer to me can you see on the corner there is the socket in which a charger is placed and the button is on right so you may come across these types of sockets in your hand they are everywhere right so this is and this is not safe to put your finger in that and turn the button on right you should always be very very careful and you should be careful about your siblings as well if you have any younger sibling so you should be careful about him or her as well that she do not put her finger in that and she and keep her away from the sockets right and behind beside that bare electric wire let's say you are crossing the road you you are in the street and there you found uh, there is this um, the the wires some wires electric wires are um, lying over there do not touch them right because this is not safe for you similarly do not go into any electric zone any danger zone especially when there is uh, after the rainfall when they are when the wires are wet this is not um, safe for you at that time as well that it can give you an electric shot the next it says that do not put your head or hands outside a moving car right this uh, i think this is something which um, all of our parents have told you many times whenever you travel right that when you uh, let's say you are traveling and you see something around that and in your in the excitement you just say oh mama just look at there and they and they ask you um, please please do not um, put your hands away right or do not your hand out of the window so do not uh, this is not safe for you because if some vehicle is coming from the back side uh, behind your car they can hit you and this would be very very dangerous to you so you are not supposed to put your head or hand not hand and head is very very dangerous you do not put your hand um from the window in the from the outside because um in a moving car right because it can hit you so uh, even if you are excited and if you want to point um i'll get something you can do it from within the car okay inside the car it is very dangerous to play with fire well fire is something which should um not only children but everybody nobody should be played with the fire because this is not uh, safe for them right so everybody should be very very careful while um, you know and you may see different tricks you may see different types of activities uh, people do with fire 
so you may see people uh, in different videos they do different tricks with the fire with the match stick right but they are experts and you should never follow that there is this disclaimer uh, in the video as well uh, on the very bottom that this is something which is you know which is um, the experts are doing this and they have done this after such a prolonged practice so you should not be trying this at your home right this is not safe for you and similarly in normal routine uh, if you want to let's say you want to um, get your uh, you want to make something for you or you want to uh, get something uh, so you can take help from somebody you can ask your mother to please switch on the uh, the flame for you and things like that right because it's very dangerous and you can burn yourself okay well the next thing is that it is not safe to play on a roof with low boundary walls you may fall off and be badly injured when well, i discussed this thing in the, in the day before yesterday as well that we we learned about many such incidents that a kid if he fell from the rooftop while he was flying a kite usually um in the basant season right because the kids they don't bother that whether there is the boundary wall or not even kids they start playing kite on the uh, rooftops which do not have any boundary wall right and then they injure them badly so we have heard about many such incidents and you know the best thing about it is that they, nobody should tell you that this is not safe for you you should use your senses and you should learn this by yourself that this thing is not safe for you right when you go to the rooftop and you see that there is no boundary wall you should think it by your Said that this is not safe for you to play over here. If you will run, if you will be, and when you if when you are flying a kite, you just lost the consciousness about or around yourself. You just put your focus on that thing, right? So that is why you fell from the rooftop. So never ever play or uh, fly the kite on a rooftop which do not have any boundary wall. Then never take medicines on your own. Medicines may harm you if they are not for you. Now let's say you have a headache. You came for back. from somewhere you um, from a playground let's say after playing and you have a headache and instead of telling this to your mother you you take a medicine by yourself so this is not safe because every medicine is not good for you right is not made for you so you should first ask your mother or you should first the best option is that you should consult a doctor and if you could not or if your mother let's say she knows everything she has the medicine at uh, her uh, at your home so you can ask your mother to please give you the medicine right okay the next thing is be careful when you use sharp objects now the sharp objects can be a knife it can be a scissor it can be a nail or everything right so you should be very very careful by using all of these things because you can harm you and you know that all of such steel type things they they became the cause of cancer so never ever um touch the, those things with your skin because if you get injured by that it can become the cause of cancer right then we have keep floor clean and dry so that you do not slip over while well, the dry it is not safe to play on a wet floor or to walk on a wet floor even if the if the floor is wet and you are supposed to go somewhere so you are supposed to move very slowly so that you do not fell down right always put rubbish in the dustbin dirt and filth spread diseases a very very important thing that you are supposed to well this is not only important that you throw the rubbish in the dustbin the, the the next step is also very important that you dispose it off properly as well that you take it somewhere where there is this proper disposable system and you throw it over there it's not good what do people do that they just put their home uh, rubbish in the dustbin and then they throw the whole rubbish outside their home right in the street so this is not safe this is not good that you just keep your house clean you are supposed to keep the streets the whole country neat and clean this is your country this country is your home right so this is your duty to keep it neat and clean so do follow the proper disposable system and keep your rubbish over there so that it may not cause diseases right and the last but not the least is that do not talk to people you do not know well this is very very important especially nowadays you might have seen uh, you might have heard about different cases of kidnapping of kids so when uh, the person uh, do not talk to strangers do not take anything from them do not eat anything because there are a lot of cases that with kids they uh, take something some sweets from a stranger and then they then they just kidnap them right because they have put some chemicals some anesthesia over those uh, sweets or over those food 
so this is not safe to even talk to stranger to shake hand with them or to take anything from them right okay so these were some of the safety measures or some of the um measures that everybody that all of us should be adopt especially kids especially you should adopt in order to keep yourself safe right now let's move toward the exercise this is page number 55 and we are supposed we will be starting with the exercise now because we have already discussed the chapter in detail and i have told you everything so you will be telling me <coughs> the answers of these questions okay the first question says what could happen if you put your head or hand out of a moving car yes it is very dangerous to put your head or hand out of a moving car because you may come across an accident you can injure yourself badly right what could happen if you touch bare electric wires it can give you an electric shock right why should you not take anything from a stranger because this is not safe right okay circle the things that could be dangerous there are some things the pictures of the things that are given you are supposed to circle those which are dangerous hurry up is a gun dangerous yes is a book dangerous no apple dangerous no knife yes then we have a nail yes a glass a broken glass yes what else well a sandwich is not dangerous and a telephone is also not a dangerous thing okay the last question is can you think of any other ways of keeping safe and avoiding accidents tell your class your ideas now see we have discussed so many things which were very common right if you think anything else um anything that you follow and you think it is a very important um measurement that everybody should take in order to keep themselves safe and that the point that we have missed you can discuss it with me and with the whole class so anything which comes in your mind yes hurry up raise your hand no there is nothing like that okay class so that was all for today we are done with this topic we are done with exercise as well uh, what is your home assignment that you are supposed to revise each and everything because in tomorrow's class you will be having a weekly assessment right so i want you to prepare yourself best for that if you have any confusion let me know and we will discuss it together take care allah hafiz